Hey everyone, Nick here from Gluten Free For You. I want to go over some of the new new features in Photoshop CS6 for the 3D uh, features in here. These some of these are really neat and they're a huge improvement over CS5. So here's what we're going to be creating. You can see the 3D text right here. It's got a bit of a shine and a shadow. So let's get right into this. I'm going to click Text Tool and go and type something down. All right. Now go ahead and position your text roughly where you want it to be. And then come over here under 3D and say New 3D Extrusion from Selected Layer. And it'll ask you, you're about to create a 3D layer, and it's going to ask you to switch to the 3D workspace. So go ahead and press OK. And now you can see we've got this nice, um, th this grid has all come up, and that allows us to position it correctly to the ground, in this case the ice. Later on, we're going to just get focused on making the text look nice first of all, though. So first of all, go ahead and click over here in the 3D layers, your text layer. And you've got all these save presets you can go through. And these are really nice. They look a whole lot better than the ones that they gave you in CS5. So I'm going to go ahead and grab one of these I like here. And now I'm going to go ahead and click off that. You can choose. You can change the extrusion depth. It's all real neat. But um, first off, I'm going to go ahead and take the text, change the color of that. What I really like about this is that you don't have to start all over from scratch now if you want to change something about it. So say I don't like what I've typed down. Go and click edit source and go ahead and type something down. Press save and come back to your original uh, one and there you go. It's all changed to match whatever you've just typed down, so that's a real neat feature. And of course you can always switch back to the old one real easily by just command Z in a few times. And now so first of all we're gonna get in here to give it that um those neat looks. Go ahead and click your infinite light number one up here and this um light source comes up and you can change where you want the light to be coming from to adjust the shadows and stuff. First of all I'm gonna give it a bit of a long shadow here by turning this thing down to the left. All right, maybe a little bit less over there. And now I'm going to click uh, what would normally be the new layers tab is the new light is in, in 3D mode. So I'm going to say new infinite light. And now you see up here I got my second one, infinite light number two. So I'm going to go ahead and click that and bring that down a bit. I want it to be that bright, but we do want to give it a little bit of an extra shine to it. I'm actually going to zoom out a little bit here. Get a better feel for this. I'm going to make it look like that. I like that view. So there we've got Go Blues. And we're going to go ahead and position this now using the 3D grid here. And some of these really neat features here. Yeah, <laughs> wrong grid. Alright. Some of these really neat features here is that. Um, this is just way easier to use in CS6 now, and it doesn't feel la it doesn't lag like um, CS5 did if you didn't didn't have a ton of RAM or something. That's real nice, and that's because it's got this new new one called the render right here. I could click this, and you can see this blue um, the blue square moving across there. You see that our text has gotten looked a little bit worse, but originally, if you looked at it closely, it was a little bit pixelated anyway. What they did there is that it doesn't they didn't give it to you in full resolution like they used to in CS5. Now it's kinda of, it's a little bit more pixelated, a little bit more of a draft, I guess you could say, so that it doesn't lag anymore when you're going through it. And so that's real nice. And if I let this I'm not gonna let this finish rendering because it will take a minute or two. But this would uh, go through here, make it give it a real nice shine, and I think it actually helps blend it in with the rest of the scene better, because it's detecting the rest of the scene and then it gets down to the text. But it's a real neat effect. It's real nice to have that option there. Anyway, thanks for watching. And go ahead and subscribe if you like this video. And I'll have more tutorials out for Photoshop CS6 soon. Thanks for watching.